Elizabeth Debicki may not have many roles to her name yet, but the parts she has played show great emerging talent. Following a supporting role in the New Zealand film A Few Best Men, she has gone on to more prestigious projects, like starring alongside Leonardo DiCaprio in The Great Gatsby, Michael Fassbender in Macbeth, and Jake Gyllenhaal in Everest. She was exposed to wider audiences in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 as Aesha, the golden-skinned high priestess of the Sovereign, and received rave reviews for her performance in Widows alongside Viola Davis as the widow of a criminal husband. And her latest role is sure to propel her into a new height of stardom, as she will be playing the coveted role of Princess Diana in the fifth and final sixth season of semi-biographical Netflix royal drama The Crown. In the lead-up to what will no doubt prove a career highlight, we've rounded up a list of 10 things to know about Elizabeth Debicki. She's Polish, Irish, and Australian. Elizabeth Debicki was born on August 24, 1990, in Paris, France, to her Polish father and an Australian mother of Irish descent. Her family moved to Melbourne when she was five and spent most of her teen to early adult years there where she studied at the University of Melbourne. She could have been a model. The actress, who starred in a Christopher Nolan film, could have taken a completely different path in life, one down the runway. Debicki, who certainly appears as a catwalk star, at first sight, stands at a statuesque 6 feet 3 inches. Although she's modeled for Max Mara in a brand shoot and has posed for numerous photo shoots in magazines, Debicki never pursued a modeling career despite her peculiar height. With legs for days, it wasn't always easy for the Australian beauty to accept her height as a woman. She spoke with The Independent and explained, I am very tall and when you're a teenager, you want to be like everyone else. I used to slump a lot, it's very human at that stage to want to be part of the crowd and not want any part of you that is sticking out. She started as a ballet dancer. Both of her parents were ballet dancers and Ibiki thought she might follow in their footsteps before realizing she was probably too tall. She made her first foray into acting by enrolling in the Victorian College of the Arts. Initially setting her eyes on theater, Debicki eventually moved into TV and film, her first ever role in the 2011 Australian film, A Few Best Men, giving her her first taste. She got her big break in 2013. Debicki earned her first big break when Boz Lerman cast her in his lavish 2013 adaptation of The Great Gatsby, which came just two years after her film acting debut. She played Jordan Baker in the film and shared the big screen with Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, and Carrie Mulligan. Fresh out of school, Debicki spoke in an interview and admitted she had zero camera craft when she landed the role of a lifetime. She won the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role for her performance in the film. She almost didn't get a role in Tenet because she's so good in Widows. Debicki played the estranged wife of the film's antagonist, a woman whom Christopher Nolan has described as an English Rose kind of character. However, Nolan almost said no to having Debicki in the movie because he was convinced she was an American on the strength of her performance in Steve McQueen's Widows. Upon finding out she was actually from Australia, the filmmaker was impressed enough to rewatch her work in Widows and The Great Gatsby, along with The Night Manager, and was struck by her range. Watching Debicki's work resulted in Nolan offering her the part, but the actress insisted that she audition. Nolan said, I certainly wasn't asking. There's a certain level of actor who, as a director, you don't necessarily want to ask them. But she wanted to. I think it was important to her to know that she could do what I was looking for. And she came in and just blew everybody away. In my mind, she was only confirming what I already knew. What she did with it is far beyond my hopes even. She got driving lessons on set. Debicki starred in Guy Ritchie's underrated 2015 spy flick The Man from Uncle and learned to drive especially for the role. She told MindFood, I actually got driving lessons on the set which was quite hilarious, and so I learned to drive in manual, in a manually type jag. Not a lot of people can say that. She's a voice talent too. Apart from dancing and acting in live action films, Debicki has also taken a gander at voice acting. You might particularly recognize her voice as Mopsy Rabbit from the 3D comedy film Peter Rabbit. She was at the top of her class back in high school. A perfect mix of beauty and brains, Elizabeth Debicki has it all. She reportedly earned the title of Ducks, given to the highest-ranking academic student, when she graduated high school in 2007. She lives without social media. Debicki doesn't do social media, so don't expect to see her on Instagram anytime soon. 
She explained why she's stayed away from Instagram, saying, the highly used application is kind of a foreign world to me and stays away from it because it leads to comparative thinking which she finds unhealthy. She splits her time between three different cities across the globe. A self-confessed nomad, Dabiki once told news.com.au, I'm a gypsy at heart. She doesn't have a permanent home base, splitting her time between three major cities across the globe. She said, I have a little triangle where I tend to go, which is between Sydney, Los Angeles and London, and I'm happy with that at the moment.